It's one of the deadliest maritime disasters on the West Coast. At least 325 people were killed when two ships collided in the winter of 1875. After announcing the discovery of the steamship Pacific last December, a Seattle crew is now preparing for a series of dives to recover some of the ship's history along with some of its gold. The thing about embarking on a new adventure Easy. is you never quite know what to expect. She's wet. With the wreck of the Pacific located more than a thousand feet down, now comes the real challenge. Our next step is totally different because now we have to worry about detecting metal and we have to worry about like recovering these different sized objects. Today on Puget Sound, they're fighting through a couple of issues, current and boat swing because they're anchored, making it difficult to navigate. We're gonna have to redeploy. Plans for a new guidance system and larger ROVs should fix that problem before they head out on the ocean later this summer to begin the search for treasure. There was probably 50 to 100 people who actually had gold on their person in substantial quantities. And so when they ended up in the water, they had to decide, you know, am I gonna sink to the bottom or am I gonna let go of my gold? And I think the obvious conclusion is they would let go of their gold. So what we've done here is we've made up what are called pokes of gold, and it kind of looks like a tube sock. This is what uh, a miner would have. This would have been a, a kind of an, a little higher than average wage. Average wage per miner was about $1,500. So this here is $1,875, is $2,100. And in today's dollars, that's $234,000. And you can see Greg Koblen's report tonight at 630. See how the team is planning to find that gold and retrieve it along with some of the other relics on board.